Developer adoption of your APIs is important to the success of any API program, regardless of whether developers are internal or external to the company. Your challenge is to simplify the process of learning about your APIs and how to use them. An API portal helps you achieve these goals by providing streamlined registration, a catalog of available APIs, tutorial blogs, and the ability to learn from your peers in discussion forums. Let's take a look at each of these in the context of a healthcare developer interested in creating a mobile app. This is the first time visiting this API portal and you're interested in which APIs are available. You can browse a list of public APIs, which are non-business critical and doesn't require user account and logging in. Let's try and test one of the public APIs. With public APIs, we can offer a teaser to the developers while keeping the more sensitive information secure. To see the full list of APIs that are available, a valid user account is required. You can easily register with the desired user ID and password, which will result in a confirmation email that your account has been created. Open the email, then activate your account. Using the credentials, log into the API portal. The APIs you're interested in learning about are on the API catalog page. Each API shows a detailed description and provides the ability to try it, simplifying how you learn to use it. As a healthcare mobile app developer, you might also want to read the blogs this provider has written to learn more about how to use their APIs or about their view of healthcare trends. API providers and tech evangelists can leverage the API portal's blog capability to educate developers about API initiatives trending topics like microservices and blockchain, and industry standards like Fire APIs for the healthcare industry. You can browse blog postings or simply search for healthcare, where the result shows blogs about Fire, which is the new standard for exchanging healthcare information electronically. Fire enables easier integration of different systems for the exchange of patient information from healthcare providers, insurance companies, and makers of medical devices. This is helpful information, but you know you'll need technical support later on and a way to learn from other developers using these APIs. For example, you want to know how security like OAuth is enforced. To find the answer, go to the forums tab and search all auth, other developers' responses are easily available. Here's one response about all auth from the administrator. In this brief tour of the API portal, you have learned about the APIs published by the provider, how to learn about them through documentation, and by trying a method request and viewing the response, and how to access and learn from the knowledge of this entire API development community through the blogs and forum.